my 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 gemini what is going on baby it is me ready to shira it is vera it is scorpion red tarot and i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of september 2020 show me the money energy yes ma'am i may be late but i'm always great honey we're gonna get into the tea today baby now listen i'm about to give y'all a heads up especially if y'all been watching any of the other readings i I did switch the decks up a little bit um i just had a little feeling that we just needed to get real rickety raw with you guys i get real deep into the tea yee -yee with me yee -yee. so we about to get real dirty and nasty today you guys so listen i want to let everyone know um i thank you so much and i appreciate every last one of you who has clicked this video thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing shout out to my og shout out to all my newbies if there's anyone who would like to book a reading with me um the instructions is in the description or you can, can click the about tab on my YouTube page. On the about tab on my YouTube page, you'll see the pricing list. You do um, connect with me through Instagram Messenger. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, I use Google Hangouts. Only thing you need to do is download it from your app store. It's a free app. Only thing we need to exchange is our email to communicate with each other to do um, to do the video chat for your reading. So, um, either or, either you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can converse back and forth and I'll help get you all set up with Google Hangouts if you don't have Instagram. But if you do have Instagram, the best method to connect with me is on Instagram Messenger. You got it? Good. Um, I want to also just give a big shout out to everyone who has been sending in donations just love offers like anytime these videos resonate i appreciate i don't care if it's a dollar five dollars ten twenty fifty i appreciate all of the love and the donations that you guys have been sending so if you guys want to send any type of support any type of donations if you guys want to donate a deck through the amazon wish list um check it out all of that information is on the about tab as well as you know we always give thanks and praises to the creator for just bringing his here and just blessing us with life and happiness you know so um bow your heads with me and we're gonna get into this so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of gemini father god thank you so much for pushing us forward father god thank you so much for the rainy days thank you so much for the sun rays thank you for every single element that you have given us and we have slowly learning to master in our time you know um we're getting stronger and stronger we're getting more um uh, resolution you know what i'm saying it is it's resolute it's we're able to kind of uh come to our own resolution not to be stirring not to be having to look into things and the question and really sit down and analyze um it's something about like an intuitive resolution where it's like Certain things ain't even worth the dig. You know what I'm saying? It's like we've matured so far past certain places where we used to be in our life. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's okay to your resolve is not needing to find the answer. Sometimes you don't need the answer. Sometimes the answer is in within yourself. It's just I don't fuck with it no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's just we just thank you so much for that inner resolution. You know, and just being carried by our own spirit. And Father God, please forgive me for cussing. So if anybody's new to my channel, I cuss and I pray that the Lord know me. He, we good. We good. So Father God, thank you so much for carrying us um, and helping us bury anything from the past so that we can continue to move forward in the future. Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Gemini in September. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons and uh, all of the gifts that you have planted for us in the future ahead, Father God. Amen. Amen. So let's get into this. You guys, I am going to, this is a new deck that I have. It's a, It comes from a game. So it's called What Do You Mean? It's like um, pictures of a whole bunch of memes off of the internet to kind of get like the emotional feel for what's going on with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put the spread down and um, we're going to get into this. So I'm going to do two more shuffles. that would like 
to put the time stamp for when the reading starts. I will be placing all of the cards downwards and be flipping them over. So if you wouldn't mind, that would be great. Break, yeah. I'm gonna break this down and then we're gonna get in. Then we're gonna clarify over here. So let's see what we got here. So what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> y'all is making that call. Do you hear me? Y'all, listen. Y'all seeing something? Y'all is informing somebody about some information that they need to know. I really do feel like y'all have been sitting back watching something, watching something in particular that you felt intuitively that was going down, and you are. I don't know. And this could even just be. I feel like this may be a friend watching you or somebody's friend watching you, especially if you're a female Gemini. Like this might be somebody's homeboy watching you and informing and giving information back to your lover, your ex or something like that. I don't know, but I definitely feel like there's some type of investigation into someone's whereabouts or what somebody is doing. Um... Mm. let's get into this the world in the reverse this is someone where you've been having like a back and forth on again off again cycle just you know round around 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 we go um this is somebody that i feel like the world to me is a card of just being fixed being solid you know what i'm saying um of growth of maturity it's like i've grown past this stage i'm ready to close the cycle in this chapter um and i'm ready to progress in my life so this is something where you're going through on again and off again cycles with the same situation or it could be the same shit different toilet you could be like attracting the same energies from like different people and it's just like I want to say like kind of chaotic a little bit. It's like something that needs to change, but it's something that someone here isn't learning about. I feel like the company that they keep are the energies. It's like you keep attracting the same type of cycle or something. And I want someone is most definitely watching you. Look, and then we got the tower. So this is like something that is coming in quick something that's going to be shocking something that's unexpected i want to say it's going to be someone telling on you um your world may be turned upside down it may delay a travel like you may have been trying to move forward but because someone may have informed like to like someone informed the op or something like that look like look this bitch look like she moving you might need to get over here i don't know what the fuck is going on with her but yeah um to i don't know where she thought she was going but listen you might want to get over here and stop her so i don't know if this is you guys were planning on moving someone tried to derail your plans or something um I 
I'm feeling like London Bridge came crashing down. It's like, I want to say someone came crashing down on your parade. Like it was something that you really could not avoid. Like maybe it's like an onslaught of a whole bunch of messages or something like that. That's bringing you a whole bunch of stress. Because with those, with all of those, um, crows I'm, I'm feeling like those are like some type of negative information or something that is bringing a whole bunch of pressure on you where it's halting your ability to move forward because it's like you have to turn back and deal with this again you know what i'm saying it was like you wasn't looking forward to it you wasn't prepared to do it you were trying to move on and just be mature and just be diplomatic about shit but because this bitch made motherfucker over here running their mouth telling people shit all up in your motherfucking tea now someone came unnecessarily someone that you wasn't expecting to come and they delayed you being able to move so i feel like this is someone interfering with your travel there's there's defo, definitely a travel interference here let's see what's going on here from uh the witch's wisdom deck this is going to be interesting you got the death card in the reverse so again this is basically and this is the shaman card so this is something that you know that needs to end. Something that you've already told yourself within your heart, mind, and your spirit. Like, with this Shaman card, it's like your inner spirit, your inner knowing told you that this is... And it might have died inside of you before you even showed it on the outside. You see what I'm saying? So, it's something that is dead within. And it's like you're ready for this rebirth. You're tired of keep going through the same experiences and stuff like that. And and I feel like you're trying to breathe life into your life. Uh, with this word, I feel like someone is trying to delay you moving on here. Um, someone may be trying to bring a resurgence into a relationship that you were trying to end. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like... This was something that someone didn't see coming. It was shocking to them. It's like, how could you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean you're moving? You know what I'm saying? So, it, like I'm saying, it could be like a lot of angry phone calls. It could be a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, can't we just start over? You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like this is someone trying to keep contacting you. Trying to stop you from leaving it's like someone wanting you to repeat this cycle but the cycle in your world is upside down it's like chaotic it's like you need to get past this point in your life and understand this lesson that god is trying to teach you what is this the incubation in the reverse so um i feel like and i really don't be reading these cards in the reverse but I feel like you just really want to be left alone right now. It's like you really need space to grow. It's like you really do want to kind of like curdle up and just go inside and want to be reborn. It's like you may even have this idea, this vision of what you want to look like, almost like a new face. Like you may be changing your character or just going through a metamorphosis or something like that. Like, uh... They're saying something about the spring. It's like something changed about you in the spring. And it's like now you're ready to go into your cocoon. It's hibernation time. It's like it's about to get cold and everything. It's like you really kind of want to go indoors and go with, within yourself. And I don't know, maybe if it's next spring when you finally come out of this hibernation or something like that. You're going to look totally different. You're going to look totally different. You're going to look totally different. I just feel like you want to be left alone, but people are not allowing you to move past this stage. It's like, I don't want to rebirth with you. I don't really want to talk to you. I, I want to move on. Like, you know, like, this was a fixed energy here. You know what I'm saying? But it was a fixed in a negative way. It was a negative. Keep repeating a negative cycle with someone. And this person doesn't want. Look. Negative cycles. Look. Cycles in the reverse. Like I said. Negative cycles. It's time to move on. This could be even a cycle of you being infertile. Like you might have wanted to have 
another child or it might have been like still burps or something due to stress or something like that and anxiety it's like I really want to say like it's a lot of phone calls like it's a lot of text messages it's a lot of back and forth back and forth back and forth like you know what I'm saying negative energy kind of like circling this home or this foundation or something like that it's like it's always storming it's always drama it's always something coming you can't never have a day with just rest with someone ain't calling you saying well you know i seen so and so and so and so just every every time you turn around it's something just trying to come and just rock your fucking world and it's like i'm fucking tired of this shit i'm tired of keep repeating you know Keep repeating these negative cycles and trying to bring things back to life. I don't know if you keep having kids by this person or like I feel I don't I don't know if it's like you don't want to have kids by this person anymore. I don't know if you might have terminated a pregnancy and I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna keep on it. I don't know. I feel like you might be making a call right now to terminate a pregnancy or something like that because you not you know what I'm saying? It's like you might have missed your cycle. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I want I don't know if I want to continue to bring life into a situation like this. You know? Um, the moon represents secrets. It represents intuitively knowing that, that something isn't good for you. Um Yeah, and now I'm getting it like this is this is your energy too. It's like they're on the phone, uh, somebody's watching you, and someone's snitching, telling you what they done seen you doing. You on the phone calling people like, man, you know, I just missed my cycle and everything like that. Like you might have already terminated a birth, and it's like you might have to do this shit again. You know what I'm saying? It's like a constant. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't expect this. Like I might have to terminate another pregnancy by this motherfucker. Like why do I keep letting this person? knock me up you know what i'm saying and this is a toxic ass relationship i don't want to go through this shit anymore do you understand what i'm saying what is this the awakening in the reverse like all of y'all's causes in the reverse it's like i feel like jim and i just want happiness it's like how could i have not seen like how could i have not i wish i would have explored this person deeper before i would have um continued to relive the same chapter over and over again because it's like this book is 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 way bigger than just the chapter that you're experiencing in your life but it's like you need to move past that chapter and learn what you need to learn from this in the world and let's get to the good part because this is someone keep it's time to Finish this chapter for the last time and let's get to the good part for God's sakes. What is this? The five of wands. Stand your fucking ground. Stand your ground with this person. It's just like, listen, I don't want to argue. I don't want to compete. I hear what you're saying. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. Um, like We just got to understand each other's differences and just not cross boundaries with each other that we don't, that we don't need to cross. You know what I'm saying? There's no need for all of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to keep going through the same thing with you again. Like, we could be friends. We can co-parent. We can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But what we are continuing to do right now. This shit ends. I'm done. I'm over with it. Period. Period. Whoever you entertaining or whatever you doing, I listen, my hat goes off to them. I can't do it no more. Stop trying to sneak your ass across this this like barrier. Like I'm I'm serious. Like this time it's like I really do feel like you guys are the phoenix. It's like you shed your old skin, you shed that old self where it's like I'm tired of going through like I'm tired of keep having to call my friends to take me to go get abortions and shit like that and i'm i'm t like i really I'm, I'm serious you know what i'm saying like i am so serious about this like i really do feel like ever someone has ever had to keep ever you keep miscarrying carrying because of the drama and maybe you didn't see like that's why the flowers are not growing that's why the flowers are not growing because it's like some type of drama or something it's like 
some type of chaotic ass drama. It's like you're always fighting. I feel like this person is always crossing the line. This this, this hand, this hand, this lion is always crossing the line. And you had to change it. You had to metamorph in order for this person to respect your boundaries. Do you understand? This person cannot surface in this new chapter that you're going to they cannot be carried with you into this new world and that's the thing that you need to understand that may be the message that god is calling down to you listen i'm ending this shit for a reason so that you can reinvent yourself and learn how to save have a safe boundary with people. Do you understand? They cannot go with you. I destroyed this for a reason. I know this might be hard. You might not understand. But these motherfuckers cannot go with you. You are the shaman. Deep in your heart. This, this, You have the understanding. You have to awaken yourself. To understand why things were not growing. You have to understand death and life cycles. Do you understand? That's why the, nothing wasn't growing. That's why you kept having miscarriages. Or and or that's why you kept missing, missing your cycle. And drama was going on. Where it was too much arguing and fighting. And you're like I don't want this. I don't want this child. Hmm. What is this? The Hierophant. This is the Hierophant. So, basically what this is telling me here is you guys are ready to end this cycle of all this drama and confusion. You really do want commitment. I, I, I don't feel like you want to be in a commitment where you're constantly having disagreements with each other. People are crossing boundaries. There may be other people in the situation that are causing conflict and drama. He said, she said, gossip, all of this. Don't know why I got time for that shit. You understand? Like, that's not something that I'm willing to commit to. And I really feel like that is why you are not backing down. Like, you are standing your ground on this because I want commitment. Um, my religious beliefs are really strong right now you know what i'm saying like i want marriage or i want something that operates along the the, the terms and the grounds that i buy by in my life you understand my standards of life the way i see my quality of living it's like you want you wanting to be around like-minded people that all have the same thinking and quality of life standards you understand so you might want to just be indoctrinated into a group or or um an organization or um you know something it's like you want to be around a, a group of people that all have that same commitment level that you have and you might be you might have just went back to church or something or you might be getting there yeah, like a pastor or something like i don't know if um I feel like because you finally stood your ground here and you decided to stop breathing life into these cycles and things like that. Um, it's I, I, I'm really seeing someone going to church. I don't know if this is an online church or something, but it's like this pastor is just saying something in a sermon and you just crying and you just like, God knows he's talking to me. It's like I'm ready for a change. It's, I feel like you're finally listening. You're finally listening. You know, like, God, I feel like I want to cry. It's like, you're listening. It's like, you understand now. It's like, listen, study the word and drink from my cup. I'm going to show you what true love is. I'm going to show you what true dedication is. I'm going to show you what true knowledge is. I'm going to show you what true loyalty is. God would never leave you. He would never abandon you. He would never, you know, it's just, it's, it's. God is showing you how to not back down when it's time to change. What is this? This is the Knight of Wands. So it's like you're moving forward passionately. Your hair is growing. You know, um, I feel like you've been you've been letting your shoulders out a lot. I don't know if you've been wearing kind of like 
they're like mid -dry. I don't know. It's like you, you're enjoying the last little bit of the summer. I feel like with this awakening card and this knight of wands with this woman. Because this definitely looks, I don't know. This looks like a woman here. And she's on her little fiery unicorn and stuff like that. I feel like you just realized that you might have let the whole summer pass you by. And you didn't realize. Yeah, we all were locked in and everything. Um, but it was so much beauty out there. You could have had so much fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just now realizing that I need to take my ass out there and go out there and get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the good life isn't going to sit there and wait for me. If it's something that I want, I have to go out there and, ch and achieve it. And I have to work it and I have to do it on my own. I can't just sit here and just be blinded to my own happiness. Like, no, nah, I need to go out here and experience this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're going out there passionately. You might find... You might have found something that it might just woke your ass the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're awake now. It's just like your juices is flowing. Your hair is growing. You're letting your hair You might have changed your hair color. You know, um, shit, you might have just bought a new car. A fucking race car or some shit. Like, you know, like a, um, a Mustang or like a, like a muscle car or something. It's like, no, fuck that shit. Like, I want, I want, I'm going to get out there and beat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, you told me to beat it or your energy told me to beat it and I'm going to beat it. And I'm going to go out here like a NASCAR driver. Like, I just feel like you just booming. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now that I could finally pitch a fork in the direction that I want to go, when I come out this time, it's something about next spring. I want to say next spring is like everything is going to be going forward in the right direction for you. Everything that you've been indoctrinating in your life right now, this change and you not backing down. And listen, they said you want, they said something about you on gorilla mode. Something about gorilla. What the fuck is gorilla mode? But like, it's like, nah, like, a gorilla is big, it's strong, it's, you know, beat your chest, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, nah, fuck y'all, like, yeah, like, you know, King Kong, it, oh, Listen to me, Tonita, this is, y'all see that childbirth, baby. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if you about to have twins or something like that, but this is like this. Said, they just said Earth in a new direction. Remember, you couldn't have this child. You couldn't have this. I don't know if this is a, a legitimate child or if this is just a new light for you. But I feel like blessings are going to come in twos. It's going to seem like one singular thing. That finally came into fruition, but deep within inside it is two different blessings in there. You know? I feel like someone's going to be blessed with twins. And one is going to look just like you. Beautiful. Y'all, have y'all ever, like, and, and I feel like this could come out of shock, too. It, you know, sometimes, listen... Sometimes God be trying to send us messages that the very thing that he wants to give us, he want he going to give it to us, but he can't give it to us while certain people are around us because they're going to take it from us and you're going to keep going through the same cycles if you don't halt. Take some time to yourself and, and listen. Like I said, God is trying to tell you something. God was trying to tell you something, but you had to get by yourself in order for you to hear it, for you to see it, for you to truly understand what it is that he was trying to tell you. So, real quick, just to clarify, um, what's the outcome in this situation where, no, not the outcome, Bob God, what's the advice uh, going forward? Because we definitely see Gemini going in a new direction, we see birth. Uh, we see blessings that are about to come in twos. Blessings that are about to come in twos. Uh, and this Knight of Wands is just like, 
You're so beautiful. You're so energetic. It's like you're so on it. And it's like you know what you need to do. It's just you got to get up off your ass and do it. And it's... Read this. Read, look, read it for the last time and be done with it. It's time to move. It's time to go to the next point in this story. We can't keep rereading the same shit and thinking it's going to be a different outcome. No, you can't come here no more. Okay? That part of my lesson with you was done. God's trying to show me something new. Like, I'm trying to go somewhere where there's like true commitment. Where, you know... I could really grow. I could really go out and enjoy the sunshine. I could bask in my beauty. I could be around people that understand me. People that are driven. Y'all just use that phone. Clarify that advice. I'm not about to answer. Why don't you hang up the damn phone? Like, what is wrong with people? You keep blowing up my damn phone like you crazy. You better be about to pay some bills around this motherfucking shit. Don't y'all hate that? Anyway, listen. So let's see what the concluding advice is for you guys here. So we got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We got the Extra Joker card. Which I don't never put in it. Okay. We got the gambler's card. And then we got the scholar card. So. This is the advice here. Um, remember when I said. And I'm trying to tell y'all. It's this video of Rico Love. He's a, a producer. And he's talking about this dream that he had. And his man kept telling him that he had to tell him something when he was by himself. But Rico Love would not get by himself at all. And the man, when he Rico Love finally got by himself, the man told him, I was trying to tell you it was $100 million in that box over there. But you wouldn't be by yourself. If I'd have told you when you was around all them people, they would have took that shit from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't, you would, you would never by yourself. So, what this is trying to tell you with this Nine of Pentacles, God tore this down for a reason. The person that you were around was a leech. A con man. Manipulator. They didn't have no sense of value for themselves to even have a sense of value in others. You, however, you were abundant. You had a lot going for you. I don't really feel like you needed whoever these people were at all. Um, what God is trying to warn you is like, have extra faith here in regards to what's coming in your life. Know that what's coming in your life is better than where you're standing at right now. You just can't see it, but you got to believe it. Because what this is showing is like, Someone on the verge of losing everything. And I mean everything. It's like, this is like someone sneaking money. I don't know why I feel like someone's stealing your money. Like someone sneaking money out of your account. Or someone helping you spend your money. Um, like people around you that are not even trying to pull their weight or pull their part. You know what I'm saying? It's like... They just want to keep coming back and taking from you, you know, and it's like, I don't want you to be in a point where you look up and you're making a call to your accountant and shit like that. You're like, well, where the fuck is all my money yet? I didn't make those withdrawals. Well, who told you that they could do that? I didn't. What? You know what I'm saying? And you just trying to sit here and map things out and figure things out. And it's like you wish when God told you to end that shit before, light a candle, uh, pay your respects. <laughs> Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Wake up in the morning, it's a new day. You wish you would have did it a long time ago. Instead of trying to keep trying to bring something back to life and keep repeating something with someone. It was like God was trying to tell you, listen, things are not growing for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? Or you might, I don't know if you guys had stressful childbirths or like I said, 
like it seems like you were infertile like you couldn't breed or something like that i don't know or or this person kept impregnating you and it was drama and chaos and stuff like that and you realize like listen this is too much of a gamble. Listen, the two of spades is where there's disagreements, there's arguments, there could even be physical fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone really taking the risk, like a risk taker. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, this is like someone that bet it all and lost. You know what I'm saying? The Nine of Pentacles is like someone, like their business failing. You know what I'm saying? Because it was mismanagement of money. Um... Like your accountant wasn't very good or your accountant was stashing money away and you're, you're trying to, you know what I'm saying? You didn't, you didn't see this. You couldn't have foreseen this. You know what I'm saying? But you are being given a second chance at a new life and rebirth and start all over, you know? And this is the thing. Whatever you want your life to be. You could dream it. You could wish it. That's what this car is. It's like in this incubation stage that you were not allowed to have because you kept taking a gamble and kept risking it and kept losing it all. Listen, scholar card, you are smarter than this. You are an air sign. You are smarter than this. God is literally teaching you right now to drink from his cup. And to listen to his word. It's not that he doesn't think that you can do things your way. But some it's certain things. Like it's like you don't know everything. You don't know everything. And I feel like that you guys have been making risk with people that don't respect certain boundaries. Like they might not even understand certain structure. A religion like this could be people that didn't have faith or something like that and could have pulled you down with them do you understand like they might not really wanted to like this is someone who just wanted to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend forever and like never wanted to cross over the boundaries of actually understanding and educating what it was to be a real man or a real woman a real husband or what true commitment is you know what i'm saying and this person i think y'all i feel like y'all are tired of the chaos i it leaves you with nothing and it's like if you just put a little bit of extra hope and faith in yourself and your skills and ability you'll stop being around people that are taking advantage of you you know what i'm saying and your businesses will go well you can actually bring life into this earth like right now it's like you can't bring life into this earth until you breathe life into yourself and stop allowing people to play with you this chapter is over it needs to be done and it's time to move on it's time to move on to a new life on a new frequency period bottom line Whatever it was that you were not seeing about how negative these cycles were, how it was affecting your cycles. Because I feel like someone's. Because this could be, this could, this, this could have been someone gambling with someone else as well. So this could have been someone gambling. Because once you got the, the three of spades, that. That talks about like STDs and stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying? Like. You could have been dealing with someone that could have been gambling with your... I, like, I'm trying... The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that is a manipulator, that's a con artist, that's a scammer, that's a... Like, a high-ranking, like, uh... Criminal boss or some shit like that. It's like, this person is criminal. You know what I'm saying? Criminal. I don't know if this person just, like, has extra luck in their life. You know what I'm saying? Where they always get away. I feel like this person always gets away with doing this shit to people. I feel like this person is, like... It's like this person kind of might have looked at you 
as like you were being an extra fool for them. You know what I'm saying? So they were able to take like they felt like you were going to continue to have extra faith and thinking it was going to continue to work and that you can make it all better and that you were going to put yourself out there to gamble again. You know what I'm saying? So they could take it all once again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, she's sitting back thinking she got all this money. She got all this abundance or whatever. Bitch, that's my money. I'm about to take, I'm about to motherfucking move. It's like someone moving, moving money through accounts or something like that, bruh. Like doing some shit under the table. And it's like, 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 yeah, she did. Like, Slim is an extra joke. This motherfucker think that they bought the win. Like, nah, I play underhanded. I play dirty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, whoever the fuck this is, is just playing dirty or going to do you dirty. It's going to lead to nothing but more compliments. And the number 18 is very significant. And you know it is. <laughs> Listen, you smarter. Use your smarts. Use your intelligence. Someone's going to definitely call you and let you know something. This person could be out there gambling, doing something with someone else. And you like, no, bitch. Okay? Someone could have missed their cycle. Someone could have most definitely missed their cycle. Again. Again. And I don't feel like you want this one. It's definitely so I don't know if you guys are committed or something or this definitely has something to do with a commitment or you just wanting a commitment. It's like you, you, you it's like God teach me how to find somebody dead. Look, teach me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach me how to Dougie. Father, teach me how to Dougie and get the fuck away from this person. Because I want true commitment. I want love. I want honor. I want respect. I want someone to cherish me and just nurture me to life. I need so It's like, that is like, I don't know if you're making this call. It's like, God, I need to teach me. I need someone to nurture me back to life because I can't keep doing this shit the same like this no more. I'm tired of taking this gamble and this risk. It's like I'm I'm shooting I'm shooting my arrow somewhere else. Yep. So listen, this has been your reading, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed this. If this video resonated, click the like button, man. Cause this I definitely feel like this was a long ass video. <laughs> Peace, babe.